Hello guys, this is Yuri from Gadget Rumble, and today I bring you Android 2.2 on your T-Mobile G1. It's pretty amazing uh, because Google themselves have said that this is impossible, but a uh, developer named Cyanogen disagrees, and he has made it happen. But just so you guys know, in order for you to install this custom ROM, you have to be rooted, just like with any ROM that you know. So I will post a few links into on the description to some videos and forums, forum threads to, to help you guys get started. But unless you're rooted, you will not be able to do this. You will not get anything more than Android 1.6 on your phone unless you're rooted. So just another big plus. So let's just get just jump straight into it. it has the new unlock screen of to slide to the side to unlock or to silence the phone. You know, just a little nifty. Uh, the big selling point of Android 2.2 is the, the speed uh, increase, and after using this uh, mod for almost a week, you could really tell how fast it, how much faster it is. It's a lot smoother, and uh, it's just apps open a lot faster, and you know it's it's just good to know that he was able to squeeze uh, so much so much out of such limited hardware. I mean, T-Mobile G1 is almost two years old, and uh, it's pretty amazing. I have an app called Limpack, which actually measures how fast your device is. And CyanogenMod uh, 5, I would get no more than 2.2, 2.3. But on CyanogenMod 6, I get 3.5, sometimes 4. It's just amazing. I know these are just numbers, but it's good to know that your phone device is actually faster. Another thing that you guys might notice is that the Cyanogen, uh Mod 6 comes standard with ADW launcher. It's a launcher that you could download straight from the market, but uh, here it comes standard. In my opinion, it's a lot better than the stock launcher because it's just so customizable. And uh, there's also one called uh, Launcher Pro. Some people say it's better, but in my opinion, the Dumble Launcher is the way to go. Uh, and if you go to settings, this uh, ADW Launcher settings are actually under the menu with the rest of the settings. And uh, what, my, what a lot of people might be asking is, how do you make it so there's four icons on the dock bar? Because what you do is, when you go to settings, uh, you go to UI settings, and you click, you have to uncheck the desktop dots, which are useless now, because when you swipe from screen to screen, it actually tells you what screen you're on, you see on the top. So what you do is, you go there, on, you unselect them and you click secondary action buttons and there you go you got four icons in your dock bar uh, how do you in, how, to customize the icons that are on dock, on dock bar all you do is you drag an icon over the space where you'll be and that's it it just stays there so let's say I want you know it's just another thing when you open your uh, app drawer there's this cool zoom in effect and your dock will actually stay th stays there so let's say I want I want Gmail there you go it's that simple another cool feature is if you want to um, uninstall an application you don't have to go to your market or to your settings to install you have to do is just grab it just drag it over the trash icon and just hold it there and you'll see the little message pops up Dro uh, drop to uninstall you just let it go and application will be installed. I don't want to do that now, but you know, just it saves a lot of time. It's very convenient. Just I'm just amazed at how fast this ROM is. Um, another thing that people might be wondering is whether or not live wallpapers work. And yes, they do, but they do not. It does not come with any live wallpapers. You'll have to download them, them yourself. And uh, I downloaded a Mario live wallpaper from the market and. There you go, guys. It works. It is a bit laggy, but you know you can't expect much. It's a it's a G1, has very limited uh, amount of RAM. The processor is half the speed of uh, the Nexus One, so it's it's still pretty amazing. Uh, also, it can uh, comes with a lot of custom wallpapers. Uh, most all of them are Cyanogen mod related. A little Andrew guy on the skateboard. My personal favorite is the last one, which is the soccer team. How can you complain, huh? Um, another thing that uh, Android 2.2 is known for is the new apps to SD method, 
what you do to if you want to move your uh, applications to your SD card all you do is you go to applications you go to manage applications let's say you want a flashlight let's say I want to move it to my SD card all you do is you get a new option that says move to this SD card you all you do is just click it and it's moved and if you want to move it back to your phone there you go move back to your phone very easy very simple no no partition required v very handy very handy I gotta say especially with the G1 who has um, who has a limited amount of storage uh, internally so the only way to do it is through SD card um, just this, I'm just simply amazed at how fast this uh, ROM is. Thank you, Cyanogen, for making my G1 usable on an everyday basis. You know, a lot, a lot of the new, some new devices out there are very expensive, and uh, now you don't have to buy a Nexus or a, you know, Incredible or any of those, you know, expensive phones just to have Android 2.2. It's available on your G1. It's amazing. Uh, well, thank you guys for listening. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and uh, have a great day. Take care.